Greetings escapers! This will be a short overview of Hideout and its systems in patch point 12. I wasn't able to play a lot so far, so my Hideout is not upgraded much, but I think I understand now general concepts behind it. You can expect full guide later on. Ok, so it seems Hideout is mostly about giving you some passive regeneration. It's mostly about health regen at this point and I would get all the upgrades giving you this passive bonus as fast as possible. It will save you time and money in the long run. I don't think energy and water is that much important, but I haven't played a lot so I could be wrong. The second thing Hideout is all about is crafting. When you build upgrade it opens up for you some recipes that you can use. The most useful one right off the bat seems to be the printer paper metamorphosis into toilet paper. One of Good Barter's early game is SB515 armored chest rig that required 3 rolls of them. Some crafts require running generator, so grab that fuel cans when you can. The next big thing is stash upgrade. It looks like it will cost you a leg and an arm to get full edge of darkness stash. I guess if you are standard edition owner you will still have to rely on some basic containers. The first step for 3.5 million rubles for 100 slot is not that bad, but the next one is 8.5 million and the final upgrade will cost you 18 million. From other things, Nikita said in Patch.12 podcast that some upgrades will let you reduce scuff timer. I'm not a big fan of this to be fair, I think scuff timer for early levels should be much lower to help new players. Then it could increase as you gain levels and then hideout upgrades could lower it, but it is what it is. Building process is quite simple. You need to have all components and hit the build button. You will not see a new levels of upgrades popping up on UI after you finish current one. You have to click level X at the bottom right screen of current upgrade to see another step. Early upgrades are instant and it seems that later ones will require you to wait some real life time before you will be able to use them. Some requirements ask you to have trader on certain loyalty level or your character need to have high enough soft skill. It seems a lot of junk items will have a use now. Yes, the time has come for screw nuts to finally shine. Two last things, you can enter in first person into your hideout, you just have to click enter on top of your screen. Props to BSG, it's really a smooth transition. Second small tip, you can use flashlight when in hideout, you have to press right mouse button for it. Alright, that's all I have for now, I just wanted to share my first impression about hideout. As I said at the start of this video, full guide will come sometime later in the future, so keep an eye on it. Thanks for watching and see you in raids.